come down and get some. Here he comes. He saw the heron and he's ready to go. Swooping in. Oh yeah. <laughs> they, they recognize the boats. They're, they're ready to go. originally bait for the pot. He just made the mistake of going into a pot and feeling the crab. Alright, now it's safe for everybody to stand up. Uh, there, uh, this is one of our Dutchess crab pots. I'll explain just briefly how this thing works. Uh, so you've got the bait. Normally the bait is inside of that bait pack, uh, but in this case the bait was a wild flounder that wandered in. Um, the, the bait inside of the bait bag has actually all been eaten already. Uh, and just like this, and we'll watch and in the course of a few seconds as he calms almost completely down. Uh, this is inducing a state of tonic immobility. This is actually preventing him from moving his limbs. The water inside of his exoskeleton doesn't connect to his neurons in the right way, and it actually inhibits the movement of his limbs. That's this triangular shape right there on the bottom of him. This is what a male's uh, looks like. This is called the abdominal curtain. So the males have this uh, triangular abdominal curtain. A female's abdominal curtain is more rounded with a little point on top. Looks like how we you guys can see the difference right there. <laughs> yeah, so they both. 